Hi, I'm Rico Correa, and welcome to a new season and the first episode in Motivational Mondays. You know, in my consulting business, I get asked an awful lot of questions. And this season, what we've decided to do is to concentrate on dealing with some of the issues that we as employers and employees face in the working world. I recently got asked a question. Rico, I've been in this job for several years and I believe it's time for a raise. How do I ask my boss for a raise? Great question. In fact, a question that many, many people have asked and continue to ask throughout the years. Well, I want to start by asking you a few questions. First off, when was the last time that you assessed your particular skills? Regardless of what your job is, have you taken a look at what you've learned a little differently this year than what you knew last year? You see, many people ask for a raise and actually expect one simply because they live long enough to ask for one. One more year, one more year on the job, usually to most people means at the end of the year I should get rewarded. The fact of the matter is every week or every two weeks you get rewarded. What have you learned new that you didn't know last year? What if anything did you bring to the table this year? So when you begin to assess how you ask for a raise, an honest assessment has to be the starting point in asking yourself, do you actually deserve one? So let's talk about that. Have you assessed your skills? Have you taken a look at what's new, what's different? What's most valuable about you? Most companies have a performance review at some time during the year. One of the guidelines that I like to give to employees all the time is not to wait until your manager or your supervisor tells you what he or she thinks that you do well or not so well. Have you assessed yourself? One of the suggested recommendations I would have for you is get a copy of your company's performance review and actually review yourself. Give yourself an honest assessment based upon the qualities and qualifications that your supervisor or manager are going to evaluate your performance on. Secondly, have you made any money for the company? Have you saved any money for the company? Have you come out with any new ideas? How have you done on projects? These are all questions that you should be asking and assessing for yourself. Thirdly, before you get ready to ask for that raise, be totally prepared. Know exactly why you feel that you deserve one. What value do you bring to the organization? Do you know more than your job? Do you do more than your job? Well, if you can answer those questions in the affirmative and you feel very comfortable about the fact that you deserve an increase in salary, then make sure that you have the right time, the right place, have a private moment with your supervisor and sit down and lay out your case for why you deserve that salary increase. Where you can, assess it in dollars and cents. Assess it in time saved. Assess it in new, different, and innovative ideas. Once you do that, and if you can do that, it'll be very difficult, especially if times are good in the company, for he or she to refuse that salary increase. In summary, take stock in what you do and what you've done. Don't expect that just because you're in that job another year, 
you deserve a raise. And then be prepared to ask and expect that salary increase. Thanks for joining us on another Motivational Monday.